Hey everybody, back with another episode of Beyond Stock. In a previous video, we took this Ruger American, shot it out to 600 yards, and I commented that the scope had mill adjustments. I've had a few questions, what's the difference between mill and MOA adjustments? So in this video, we're gonna take a little deeper look at the differences between the two. To start this out, we're gonna look at MOA first. It's a little easier to understand starting out and it's very commonly used in the US and on most rifle scopes. So we'll put up a graph to show what a minute of angle means. But basically, if you break it down, it's to one minute at 100 yards equals one inch. One minute at 200 yards equals two inches. One minute at 300 yards equals three inches. So that just keeps getting farther away. So if we take a rifle that zeroed at 100 yards and we shoot out to 200 yards, if that bullet hits two, minute, two inches low, we need to adjust up one minute of angle to get our two inches. So if we still have our 100 yard zero and at 300 yards, we're three inches low, it's still a one minute adjustment up. So this is our basis for finding our, our shot placement. A lot of ballistics apps are gonna tell you where your trajectory of your bullet is downrange. For example, it may say that this rifle at 500 yards is gonna shoot five inches low. It's gonna then convert that into minutes. So five inches low at 500 yards is one minute of angle. It's gonna tell you to adjust your scope up one minute. That'll put you back on target. If you're 10 inches low at 500, you'll have to adjust up two minutes of angle on your scope to get that bullet back on target. So doing a little practical example on this rifle. So this rifle has a 200 yard zero and I've previously loaded the bullet data into my shooter app. So if we have a target at 500 yards, my app says that my bullet path is gonna be 35.4 inches low. So doing the math of one minute at 500 yards equals five inches. We need to adjust the scope 6.8 minutes to get that bullet back on target. It's as simple as just adjusting your scope to the 6.8 area and fire and that bullet will be where you plan for it to be. Next, we have a rifle set up with a scope that has mill adjustments. So a mill and MOA are very similar with the only difference being is how you convert them to inches. With minutes, it's one minute at 100 yards is one inch. With a mill, it's 3.6 inches per mil. So it's a little more math, it's not as easy, but if you just use an app, it makes it, makes it way better. So putting that in practical use, this rifle is sighted in at 200 yards. So if we said we had a target at 500 yards, our app tells us that it's gonna be 45 inches low, our bullet is. So if we were working in minutes, we would have to adjust that up nine minutes. But since this scope is mil, our app tells us that we need to come up 2.5 mils. So it's just the same as the other one. You just turn your scope to 2.5 and it'll get your bullet back on target. At the end of the day, it's personal preference on whether you prefer to shoot mils or minutes. Really all we're trying to do is get our scope lined up with our trajectory and the difference between the two is just the number of clicks that it takes to get your shot on target. And that's this episode of Beyond Stock. Hopefully that I was able to get you started knowing the difference between the two types of scopes. If there's anything you would like to see in the future, please leave us a comment below and we'll look at it for a future video. Um, until then, you can see all the gun stocks we have available at www.boydsgunstocks.com. Keep shooting.